Hey, 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 Live Love in Here family. Welcome back. Welcome if you're a first time viewer. All glory be to God. Listen, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button for your girl. Help this channel grow. Thank you if you've already done so. I appreciate your support. Um, today I wanted to talk about settling for less and why should we when you know God sent his only begotten son in the flesh to come die for our sins that we that way we can live why settle for less when that's that's taking place like we have to stop giving people so much power um, more power than God because we're only here and in a lot of it has to do with uh faith faith people we're it's a lot of non-believers in god because we can't see him but you got to have faith and believe a faith of a mustard seed um that god is real and jesus is real <laughs> and the bible is real the stories in the bible are real um so why settle for less when Jesus laid down his life for us? That way we don't have to settle. We don't have to settle for somebody treating us wrong. We don't have to settle for a job, not not paying us our worth. We don't have to settle for family, um, uh, letting us down, talking bad about us, judging us. We don't have to settle for somebody, you know, cheating and uh, being abusive, emotionally abusive, all that. We don't have to settle for that. We don't. And I feel like a lot of us, we do, but we do settle for it because, um, um, we've had so many bad relationships. We had so many bad, um, situationships or jobs to where they're, they're not paying us our worth. They're not giving us our worth. And we start to think that's all we we are worth is um, the the scraps and the you know n no that's not it we got to get out of there you know faith we got to get out of that mindset faith without works is dead so we do have to put in the work it's not just gonna come you know without any work um, trials and tribulations you know there's gonna be that but. Um, that's why I always say or keep saying that we have to get to ourselves, get to know us, um, get around more positive people, more positive situations, people doing things um, that are positive and not negative. Um, and, and we have to change, you know, it starts with the person in the mirror. We have to change um, if we want to, you know, um, see or do better. You know, they say birds of a feather flock together. Um, so, um, no, you don't have to settle. No, you don't have to be in that situation when you know you're not getting what you deserve from that situation. You don't have to be in there. And right uh, again, uh, I said one time before, right when you're wanting to change, right when you're wanting to do good, right when you're in, in your head, like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to put my foot forward and do it like this, this time. That's when the devil <laughs> and, um, comes and tempts you. And he's going to tempt you with people that's in the, like spirit with him. Um, that's in the sin, that's in the evil. He's going to tempt you with people. He, he's not going to, it's not going to be, again, it's spiritual, not more physical so he's gonna get people and get in their spirit you know that's that's willing and able to be in that spirit to to take on that evil spirit um and they're gonna come to you and throw all types of stuff at you that's gonna get you down or make you feel like you can't do it or it's too hard or things like that but that's not true that's why i say you got to keep to yourself sometimes and get to know you and pray to god and ask him to for understanding and this and discernment to understand his voice um and and god i, I promise you god will start showing you stuff um to you because you have been in pray for it and he'll it, you know god will start showing you stuff and you'll be like oh okay lord uh, i get it you know um every personal experience is different with god 
so don't don't keep settling for less i want to see everybody make it i want to see everybody progress in life and grow um and understanding and love one another um that's the reason why the devil he has so much um authority now um over this earth is because no one's loving no one's you know caring for it's all about me 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 self selfish selfish i i i you know what i can do for me it's okay to help somebody it's okay to if somebody's doing something or has something better than you you feel like that your time will come your time will come and then just stay focused on yourself you know make sure you're doing the right thing make sure you're doing good um and then you know you'll be able to tell when somebody's not giving you you know what you're worth you know god god knows what we're worth because he's again sent his only son here in the flesh to die for us to die for us and if somebody's not you know i'm not saying you know somebody need to die for you and stuff like that but you know that's a uh that's a the ultimate sacrifice for somebody to die for you and if somebody is just beating you down and and just working you and not paying you your worth you don't have to settle for that you don't have to just pray to god and ask him you know to deliver you from that and you know help you give you strength and guide you to the right path um for his will not our own and you know he'll take care of it for us he'll make sure everything is okay um, don't be scared, you know, if you just have the faith of a mustard seed, God got you. I promise you, God got you. God got us. You know, I'm in the same boat. The things that I talk about, I'm, I'm either going through it, um, have gone through it, you know, trying to get out of it, you know. That's why I say we, us, are, you know, um, I'm not above nobody. I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm trying to work on me too so that's all i wanted to talk about you guys until next time don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button for your girl